chapter 10 introduction to computer networks first let us see the learning objectives so at the end of the lesson you will know about the history of computer networking and internet you will learn the explosion of internet you will come to know the demerits of internet and you will also learn about the growth of computer networks so you will also we will also discuss the uses of computer networks at home business mobile and social media so we'll uh, move on to the first topic it is introduction to computer networks okay so with this were the learning objectives we just read now now we'll move on to the definition of a computer network so a computer network is nothing but a collection of computing devices that are connected in various ways in order to communicate between each other and share the resources okay so when two or more computers are connected together then they form a network veetla thaniya or system vechirukom adu internet odayo vera endha systems odayo connect aagala appdi sonna it is called as a stand alone computer stand alone computer so even if your system you have only one system at home but it if it is connected to internet then it is a network so it is connected to some other device through which you get this internet isn't it so it forms a network so when two or more devices are connected together to for communication and for sharing data and resources then it is called as a computer network now this connection between two computers can be made with the help of wires or wireless wires means cables okay so with the help of physical wires or cables and even some connections can be wireless nowadays we use wifi so you uh, some internet connections can be wireless too we learnt the word resources resources are nothing but different data and different devices that shared in the network so it can be a file server a server connected in a network it can be a web camera that is connected to your laptop or it can be speakers printers a single printer can be kept in an office and can be shared by many people who are working in the office okay so that is also a network a printer is connected to all the five systems supposing there are five systems in a in an office or a company all the five users using the system can access the printer and take printouts but it will be connected to only one system but since it is in a network all of them can use it similarly scanner fax machine etc one major important uh, resource is the world wide web your internet it can be digital audio or video the songs that you download online the videos that you download online movies all come under digital audio and video these are the resources that can be shared by using a network so it can be physical devices or it can be data or it can be any software and the next one term is internet so uh, many networks small and big form a global network a network all around the world and it is called internet we have learnt all these basic concepts in 11th standard anyway i am revising it again so computer networking is a technique of digital co telecommunication network so look at this term digital network that permits nodes to share its resources look at the word nodes here nodes refers to the computers that are connected in the network computers and other devices that are connected in the network are called as nodes so they exchange data through wired or wireless connections just now we saw wired connections can be any there are different types of wired connections we will learn it later so there are different types of cables we will learn it as a separate lesson so it can be a fiber optic cable coaxial cable twisted pair cable etc we will learn all these in detail later or it can be a wifi wireless media such as wifi wifi stands for wireless fidelity the expansion of wifi is wireless fidelity so computers which are connected to the network are called as node or host not only computers any other systems including your mobile phones tabs laptops everything that is connected to a network that is connected with each other is called as a node or host and every node in a network has an ip address if your mobile phone has an internet connection 
so it has an ip address i'll teach you how to find the ip address of your mobile phone each one each device that is in the network has an unique ip address unique na thani thana one node ip address innorthangalukku irukadu each one has a unique ip address so in later classes i'll teach you how to find the ip address of your mobile that you are using okay so remember when you are connected to a network network la internet la yo network la namak connect a irukom it can be a local network or it can be an internet okay so if if you are connected to a network or an internet your device including your mobile phone tabs laptops pcs everything that you connect has a unique address similar to the to your door number it so how will you find the uh, address you use the door number the street and all that similarly it is a global network avlo periya network la or device a particular and identify panni and the device ku mani whatsapp la just type pandra you just click on send it goes away but there is a lot of activity behind the screen அங்க வந்து அந்த நீ யாருக்கு அனுப்புறியோ அந்த அவங்களோட ஐபி அட்ரஸ் டிவைஸ் கண்டுபிடிச்சு கரெக்டா ரூட் பண்ணி அனுப்பணும் உன்னோட மெசேஜஸ் ஆல்ரெடி லேர்ன் டிசிபி ஐபி ப்ரோட்டோகால் வி வில் லேர்ன் இட் அகைன் இன் திஸ் லெசன் ஆஸ் வெல் ஸோ நம்ம அனுப்புற மெசேஜ் எங்க போய் சேரணும் நம்ம சோர்ஸ் நம்ம அனுப்புறோம்னா வி ஆர் த சோர்ஸ் அண்ட் யாருக்கு போகணுமோ அவங்க தான் டெஸ்டினேஷன் So, destination device or IP address, address theory and only other unique address are correct on the device because they deliver upon a message. So, each one, each device that is connected to a network has an IP address. IP stands for Internet Protocol. IP address. We have already learned the introduction for TCP IP in 11th standard. Again, I'll remind you, we'll, we have the same topic here as well. Okay. and uh, these these two people are uh, recognized as the fathers of internet okay the first one is vin surf as an internet founding father noted for one word so this you have it in your textbook as do you know okay so you have to note all this for one word sometimes they may ask it in two mark question as well so as an internet founding father vin surf co-designed the protocol tcpip just now i spoke about this protocol tcpip protocol it is an important protocol in internet you can take your 11th standard textbook and revise this topic again and architecture that forms the foundation of modern day internet the person that is given down he is called lawrence g roberts he was born in 1937 in connecticut usa he is an american scientist and he is also considered as one of the fathers of internet you have to learn these two people for one word question okay and then we'll move on to the next topic and it is history of computer networking and internet before that i would like to um, read few definitions that you have to learn in the textbook now let us see the textbook and let us uh, underline few important things that you have to note down for learning the assignment okay first one the definition of networks we just discussed here in the definition of networks you should learn a set of computers connected together for sharing resources okay this is the key point for definition of computer computer networks and these are the resources just now we saw a lot of resources and these are the resources that i shared to you now and uh, internet this is an important one word network of networks nariya networks chendu or network avula da enna overall global network da enna solrom nama internet nu solrom so internet is uh, widely used nowadays even now we are using internet widely isn't it because of this covid situation here they have given you an example a multinational company that has worldwide branches if they want uh, data feedback on a daily basis if all the branches are connected in the network it will be easy for them to collect all the information about the product so everybody uses internet nowadays isn't it so we have already learnt what is node every computer that is connected to a network is called as a node and we have learnt data is transferred through wired media as well as wireless media isn't it so you will have to learn this for one word and each node is identified by an ip address unique address this address is available even for mobile phones tabs personal computer servers and any other networking device so connecting more than one device exactly this is the right definition vero system matter kada enna device avena irukalam connecting more than one device is called as a 
network okay and it follows lot of protocols we will learn protocols as a separate lesson we will learn ip addresses as a separate lesson each topic that we say here is will be discussed later as a separate lesson now we have learned this do you know as well isn't it now we'll move on to the history of computer networking and internet this is an important five mark question this is the first five mark question in the lesson as you can see here there is a table history of computer networking and uh, they have given you a very long table that extends for two pages and it, you are supposed to learn everything and there are few corrections in the data given in this table so i want you to follow the PowerPoint that I'll show you now and make corrections in the paper. If you have a printed copy, you can make it corrections. Otherwise, you can note it down. When the textbook comes, we'll make correction. See here, you have a very long table that you have to learn for five mark question that extends to two pages. Okay, so uh, you have a maximum of eleven concepts that you have to learn for five mark question. Okay, now we'll learn these concepts one by one. I'll switch over to the PPT so that I have made all corrections in the PPT so that it will be easy for you to note down. Now look at this PPT uh, and we will learn the history of computer networking and internet. In the late 1950s, this is the first network, SAGE, semi-automatic ground environment. This testing tested internet uh, model was used by U.S. military. U.S. stands for United States. U.S. military radar system, and the next one at nine, 1960, SABRE, semi-automatic business research environment. It was designed at commercial airline reservation system online. It was connected with two mainframe computers. Uh, what is a mainframe computers? The computers that we use are personal computers, PCs. Okay, all these come under. PCs, laptops, everything come under PCs. Mainframe computers are a little higher in configuration than personal computers. Personal computers are better. Adhya mana speed, adhya mana storage order the mainframe computers. Okay, other better adhya mara kar the super computers. In chulo highly powerful computers are called as super computers. Okay. நிறைய கம்ப்யூட்டிங் பவரோடு இருக்கும் சூப்பர் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் பர்சனல் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் பிசி நம்ம சொல்கிறோம்ல நம்ம டெஸ்க்டாப் லேப்டாப்ஸ் எல்லாமே என்னது பர்சனல் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் ஸோ பர்சனல் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸை விட ஒரு அதிகமான கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் அதிகமாக பவர்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கிறது என்னது மெயின் ஃப்ரேம் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் தே கேன் டூ இட் இன் மில் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் செகண்ட்ஸ் தே கேன் டூ அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஜாப்ஸ் இன் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ இன் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி எஸ்ஏபிஆர்இ திஸ் இஸ் அ நெட்ஒர்க் that was established at commercial airline reservation system an online reservation system that connected only two computers these were all at the beginning stages of finding this internet okay and then at the same era we had packet switching the concept of packet switching just now we saw a concept tcp ip isn't it tcp ip stands for transmission control protocol internet protocol So TCP/IP uses packet switching network. Or a message ni ana prena, adu fulla message ave poy destination la pe se radi. Your message is divided into many small packets, and these packets are sent in different routes to reach the destination. Destination la po na peraga, these packets are again rearranged to form a whole message and is delivered to the destination destination. Okay, receiver. The, this is what happens. The procedure we have already seen in 11th standard, and we will also discuss about this in detail in a later lesson in 12th standard as well. Okay, so this packet switching concept, full message and apna later ho, adha naala kuti kutiya pirche naarey routes lene pi fast a destination ko pay share avikranga. So destination lapi share in the prag, and the packet sella se to or full message a compose pani receiver ko kudkranga. Simple concepts la. Chhiriya didam packet switching. So this packet switching concept was independently developed by two people. One is Paul Barron and another one is Donald Davis. Okay, so he uh, Davis even pioneered the implementation of this concept with NPL network, a lo local area network at the National Physical Laboratory in UK, UK Britain, United Kingdom, and it used a speed of 768 kilobits per second. Now, my poor bytes, kika bytes, la poitrakonama. Like I even use terabytes. 
but look at that time during 1960s this was a great achievement 768 k stands for kilo kilo bits we have already learnt in normal measurement in real life kilo represents 1000 whereas when it comes to digital computing kilo represents 1024 bits okay 1 kilo is equal to 1024 bits so 768 kilo bits ing speed la they imp they implemented this the network concept and they transferred data okay that was a major achievement at that time and the kalathla adu or periya achievement a irundhuchu we'll move on to next one 1963 in 1963 jcr lick lider he sent a memorandum memorandum is a message to his office colleagues discussing the concept of intergalactic computer network so this was the first message sent in a corporate office okay in 1963 so a computer he designed a network and that was mainly intended intended in a purpose in a purpose kaha bande to to allow communications between users so he sent his uh, he sent a message message is a memorandum to his office colleagues so this in 1963 the first message was sent okay Uh, beforehand there were only data and resources were exchanged this is the first time in 1963 messages were sent among uh, computer users and then in 1965 western electric is a company it introduced the widely used telephone switch that implemented true computer control this is an important one word okay you know, for all these history concepts and all you will have to learn it for one word especially the years okay the next one is 1966 thomas marrell and lawrence g roberts they published a paper on experimental wide area network wide area network is nothing but internet for computer time sharing okay and then the next one is in 1969 F the first four nodes of the arpanet arpanet is a network okay advanced research project agency network how many nodes were connected four nodes four na no? four computers were connected using 50 kilobits not bytes bits zeros and one bit circuits between in the nal university nadula nal computers na patha nal university university of california at los angeles stanford research university university of california at santa barbara and university of utah so in the nal university ki nadula they can they formed a network in 1969 and uh, with a uh, bandwidth rate of only 50 kilobits per second a low slow message poi irukku yosichu par okay and then leonard klein rock he carried out the theoretical work to model this performance of packet switch network packets la anupradha evlo effective a irukna or analysis or model pannar or simulated model panni he worked on it okay so that was a great ma a major development for arpanet so his theoretical work on hierarchical routing hierarchical routing rad in the point land in the point poradhukku or source land or destination poradhukku edella possible routes அப்படின் கண்டுபிடிச்சி எது ஷார்ட்டஸ்ட் ரூட்னு கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுலாம் தான் ஹைராக்கியல் ரூட்டிங் ஸோ ஆல் தீஸ் வெர் டெவலப்ட் இன் லேட் நைன்டீன் செவன்டீஸ் அலாங் வித் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஃபருக் கேமன் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் இட் வாஸ் அ மே மேஜர் கிரிட்டிக்கல் இன்வென்ஷன் இன் இன்டர்நெட் டுடே தட் வி யூஸ் டுடே இன் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி டூ கமர்ஷியல் சர்வீசஸ் ஸோ மெனி ஆஃப் தம் ஸ்டார்டட் யூஸிங் ஸோ த எக்ஸ் டாட் டூ டூ ஃபைவ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் அ ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஓகே was deployed and later used as an underlying infrastructure for expanding tcp ip network x.25 gnd one la adu or internet standard okay name in 1973 the french cyclists network was the first to make the host responsible for the delivery of data rather than this being a centralized service of the network it's a server put and the server data correct a poda and monitor pandrathukku badilla host na yaar nu solirken ella network la irukra ella system me responsible thankite end correct a data poirka abingrathukku responsible reliable delivery of data angrathu data correct a poi receiving end la poi serudha just you think of whatsapp 
வி ஆர் யூசிங் வாட்ஸ்அப் அகெயின் ஸோ நமக்கு வந்து டபுள் டிக் இருந்துச்சுன்னா டேட்டா போய் சேர்ந்துச்சுன்னு அவங்க பார்த்துட்டாங்கிறது நமக்கு எப்படி தெரியும் ப்ளூ டிக் வந்துச்சுன்னா த ரிசீவ் ஹேஸ் சீன் த மெசேஜ் தட் யூ ஹவ் சென்ட் ஸோ யூ கெட் த யூ கெட் ரிலேபிள் டெலிவரி ஆஃப் டேட்டா போய் கட்டாயம் சேருது சேர்ந்துச்சா இல்லையான்னு நமக்கு தெரியுது அட் த சேம் டைம் அவங்க பார்த்தாங்களா இல்லையா நமக்கும் தெரியுது இல்லையா ஸோ ஈச் ஹோஸ்ட் ஈச் ஹோஸ்ட் இந்த சென்ஸ் ஈச் நோட் நெட்ஒர்க்கில் கனெக்ட் ஆகிற எல்லா டிவைஸுக்குமே அது ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆகி இருக்குது தே ஸோ திஸ் வாஸ் இன்வென்டட் இன் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி த்ரீ ஸோ த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் வேர்ட் ஹியர் இஸ் ரிலேபிள் டெலிவரி ஆஃப் டேட்டா ஹோஸ்டே ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் இதுக்குன்னு தனியாக ஒரு சென்ட்ரலைஸ்டு சர்வர் வைக்கணும்னு அவசியம் கிடையாது ஒரு சர்வரில் போய் தான் வரணும்னு அவசியம் கிடையாது ஓகே ஆல் தீஸ் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் வர் டெவலப்ட் அரவுண்ட் நைன்டீன் In 1973, Robert Metcalf wrote a formal memo at Xerox. It's a corporation. Xerox Park is a corporation. So he wrote a memo, a text describing Ethernet, a networking system that was based on Aloha Network. This is a famous network in those times that was developed in 1960s. This Aloha Network was developed in 1960s by Norman Abramson and his colleagues at the University of Hawaii. So he developed Ethernet. Nowadays we use Ethernet cards for internet, isn't it? So uh, he developed this Ethernet concept and he published a paper in 1976. See the second point. He published his paper with David Box on Ethernet, distributed package switching, switching for Ethernet. local computer networks so he collaborated on several patents rights patents means rights in the concept avanga da develop panikanga so they uh, he collaborated on all these patents received in 1977 and 78 and then he wanted to make it as an open source so yaar venal idile inna further developments pannala he wanted it to be available in public so avarku mattume and the rights vechikama he made it as an open source in 1979 this is an important one but ஸோ யார் வேணாலும் அந்த கான்செப்ட் அதை வந்து ஃபர்தராக டெவலப் பண்ணி புதுசாக அதை கொண்டு வரலாம் டிசைன் பண்ணலாம் அண்ட் இன் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி சிக்ஸ் ஜான் மர்ஃபி ஆஃப் டேட்டா பாயிண்ட் கார்பரேஷன் ஹி கிரியேட்டட் அ நெட்ஒர்க் நேம்ட் ஆர்க் நெட் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் அ டோக்கன் பாசிங் நெட்ஒர்க் டோக்கன் பாசிங் நெட்ஒர்க் மீன்ஸ் ஒரு ஒரு மெசேஜ் நம்ம அனுப்புகிறோம் அது பக்கத்தில் இருக்கிற அடுத்த நெட்ஒர்க்கு போகுது அது தன்னோட மெசேஜ் இல்லைன்னா அடுத்தது ரிப்பீட் பண்ணும் அடுத்த நெட்ஒர்க் ஸோ இட் கோஸ் ஆன் அஸ் அ ரிப்பீட் டேரக்டாக டெஸ்டினேஷனுக்கு ஃபைன் பண்ணி போகிறதுக்கு பதிலாக பக்கத்தில் பக்கத்தில் சுவிட்ச் ஓவர் ஆகி போகுது இட்ஸ் அ கால் அஸ் அ டோக்கன் பாசிங் நெட்ஒர்க் அண்ட் தர் மெனி மோர் டெக்னிக்ஸ் இன் டோக்கன் பாசிங் ஐ எம் ஜஸ்ட் கிவிங் இட் இஸ் அ சிம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் யூ டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் இன் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி ஃபைவ் த டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஸ்பீட் கெப்பாசிட்டி ஃபார் ஈத்தர்நெட் இன்க்ரீஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் டென் மெகா பிட்ஸ் கிலோ பிட்ஸ்லேருந்து மெகா பிட்ஸ் டென் மெகா பிட்ஸ் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் மெகா பிட்ஸ் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி எயிட்லேயே த ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஸ்பீட்ஸ் வேர் அரவுண்ட் கீகா பிட்ஸ் அண்ட் நவ் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் கீகா பிட்ஸ் சப்சிக்வெண்ட்லி இட் 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 இஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் டே பை டே ஓகே ஸோ இட் இட்ஸ் அ மெயின் கான்ட்ரிபியூட்டிங் ஃபேக்டர் ஃபார் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் பீப்புள் யூஸ் மோர் அண்ட் மோர் ஆஃப் இன்டர்நெட் ஸ்பீடு ஸ்பீடு இருக்க இருக்க அதிகமாக யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் இல்லையா So it all started with the small kilobits and now it goes on till gigabits and terabits. Okay. Now with this we, are, uh, we have come to the end of the topic of history of computer networking. You will have to learn this for 5 mark question. Okay. So here you can see the textbook. In the textbook you have this uh, as a separate table. Okay. So you can learn in the textbook. textbook all these concepts you cannot learn all the 12 concepts in one day all the 11 concepts in one day okay so learn it uh, little by little every day so that you will be able to remember it as well okay